So we are discussing about uh, web services, right? So on that we created a project, on that we done up to certain level. Okay. So last time we just created till this. Now from here we used to handle the response data. Here in a failure case we added this. So once this is done, we will, I'll explain once again the entire step by step. So here whatever the data has came here now we have to hand it here this right so i suppose to handle this data so the data response will come into this response because the, from this register response we are capturing that data so here now uh, we used to capture this data response so to capture this response here now i'm creating one variable so where response equal to response dot body dot see here whatever the keys we are getting so in a response we are getting two keys one is the status and the key so status based on the status i have to uh, do the next activity so that i am getting here the status right so in this response like i am writing the if if else case so res dot equals to so I'll compare with this any one of the response, like either it is uh, positive or negative, with uh, for means failure or success. I'll compare with one response so that uh, next step will be executed in a else loop. So this is the API. Here uh, we are getting this key success. So the success with success I'm comparing here. So whenever it is equal to success. So we'll execute one else. Else we'll execute another this, right? So here also I'll write again uh, one more where uh, response key. So I want to get the response key that is same from the response. So response dot body dot get key right so this first of all i'll show this in a one toast so toast dot make text this at the rate main activity so here whatever this uh, rest key so response key that i'm showing here so then next year toast dot length long dot show so similar here i'll paste it. means whatever the response it is coming like here it is coming two responses one is the uh, you are registered successfully email exists so these two messages dynamic messages here we are showing this right so this is fine and right here uh, this data binding import is not working from past class <clears throat> We already added this, still it is not taken. On gradle build. We will add, we will remove this and we'll add this again. So that is data binding enable equal to true. So same line we added, right? This not rating as a Okay, so I'll do one thing. So directly I'll add first the variables here. 
click uh, this button and these things. In next class, once it will data binding generated, we will modify that into data binding here. So where button, where button, colon, button. So we'll have mail modify and right next to where uh, user like name. Where name equal to sorry where name this is edit text so mail pass so three parameters So set content we have set it here. Then next year button equal to find a view by ID. So that is r dot id dot text button. Register it is. Okay, here it is text to bottom. Right. Next user name name equal to find view by ID or dot ID tag username. So mail equal to pass, right. So here is the password, it is the email. So here now, button dot. So here, name dot. So mail that pass that. Okay, so now it is clear. So finally, uh, if you want to run this, uh, we used to give one permission in manifest file. So in manifest file, yeah, there while using the intents, we used normally like that is uh, for uh, adding the activities and services. But now we are giving the extra one more step that extra permission. Now I'm running this project, we will see this.
Yeah, it is launching, just I'm opening the visor. Okay, it's crashed something. Just a minute, it's like something it is issue, it is crashed. So whenever uh, the, any app which it is, it will be crashed like this. So here we used to check. So in a lock app, here, error will be here. So here we used to search with partial exception. So always the error will start with the partial exception. See what it is saying, unable to start component example, text input layout cannot be Android with this edit text. So it is not an edit text, okay. So here, whatever we, Added. This is not an edit text. So this it is. Uh, so what we need to define this, declare this, just a minute. So here, uh, this we are declaring here as a text input layout. Right, this is the text input layout. So if I give that here, it will take. Right, so it is taking the text input layout. So this we have to give. So now it will work, right? So I'm running this, now it will take. Okay, here we got an issue now. So this is, edit text. So previously it was here, edit text dot to text, right? So edit text dot text. So name dot edit text, okay. So this, we have to add before the text. Right, so I'm running now.
Yeah, I think it is launched now. Yeah, it is launched. So here now we will register with some user. So like this, this is there is as I told, there is no validation. So that's the reason. Just I'm giving some random data. See, you are registered successfully. <laughs> and next case, email is fake. Let us say here, I'll turn off my mobile data and Wi-Fi both. So both I turned off. Right. Now we can see here. So this is the acceptable case. See here it is saying that no address associated with this. So means it is not saying exactly internet issue. So means that case also we used to handle in case if a registration has not done with proper, so that case we have to handle. I mean, so internet permission is also we used to handle. This. So that is the registration test. Okay. So let we will discuss what we did, uh, did exactly. Here. So I'm not going into anything on the UI part. So UI part already we clear. So that UI we uh, designed with the material design. After that, in a build that gradle. So to do do retrofit program, we used to add these three implementations. So one is the JSON retrofit and JSON carpet. Right. Once it is done here, now first step. So whatever the data, say till this, it is a regular activity by getting that. Only I did one extra thing here. I did one trim. So trim means it can avoid the space uh, uh, in my, like last or first if any extra spaces will come, that will avoid. Otherwise, what happens in password or something? So that will store as a space with space there. So that will treat password as a space. It will expect the password while you are entering that. So that's the reason we used to use this. After that, we took the data in JSON object. So we assigned the, what are the keys? These keys are from the API side and these keys are from the this uh, data side, right? After that year, we declared retrofit. So the retrofit, Declared with base URL and JSON convert factory. After that, we created one sample interface. Right, we go to sample interface. So in a sample interface, so first we added one header that is a JSON application JSON type and what is a remaining URL with the request. What type of request it is? After that, we created one method. That this method we are using for the create user. So create user. So here we are sending the data in the form of body JSON object. So that added here call, we created a call. So here it is the, we created from here, we created one register response class. So for this class, so here we created a POSO that we are using the JSON schema to POSO URL. There we converted like we take the positive response and we converted that. So initially we took the Java class. After that, we converted this into the Kotlin class, like using the shortcut key that is control shift alt k we converted this into here yes. right after that we back to main activity and here now we create we converted the what is the json of json data we are taking json object that we are converted into the json object so yet the next step we created one response class that is with reference of this interface using this particular json object. then we called we called an NQ method. This NQ method will define either positive or negative here. It is done. So this is what we done here in a uh, positive case. We handle with the reference of the key and the failure case also we handle with reference of the direct here. This is. Finally, we gave an internet permission here in manifest file and we run this application. So that is done. Right. So on top of this now, so what I'm expecting, whenever it is in a success, okay, whenever I got the success, so here it is a success. So I want to move to the next page. Next page means here I want, once it is successful login, I want to move to the login page. So there we have to implement the login functionality. So for that here, I'm using intent. So intent, this at the rate, 
main activity. So from here, I'm creating one activity login colon colon. So that is class dot Java. So next is the dot activity of intent dot. So here logins I have created. So here uh, one activity I have created that is a MDVs activity. So that is login, right? I click on this login activity has created. So now what happens when I run, this will come uh, to here, right? But what I'm expecting here is now, I want login activity the first, after that, uh, I want I want that, uh, means normally in any application, so the login page will come first, after successful login, uh, means in case if you are a new user, from there, we will give the redirection to the registration page, right? So that activity we will do here. So to do that here now, in the manifest file, what I'll do here is, so this uh, particular, uh, this here I'm changing as a login, so that it will be login page. So this is the normal page. So here, uh, then we used to change the navigation in here. So where is the this main activity as this? I'll copy this as this and go back to the login page. So in a login page also almost it is the same UI, right? So same components I want to use, just I modified. So with some modification is here I have this, right? So once I added here, then here I'll change as a so login here, right. So this first one username is not required. So we will remove this username. Done. So remaining rest all are the clear. Right. We just we remove the username. The remaining all it is clear now. So this is the email and the password it is here. So login and password so this i'm changing has a login so this is the login done so here i want to use a different button so that is a regular button and after this i want to give one more navigation here i want a text view so that is the text view as far as graph content and id so that is new user, right? Text, give new user, register here something I'm giving, new user, register, register here. Right, so here, uh, I'll give the text size little bit uh, bigger, so 25 SP. Right now, so in a login.kt, here we will create data binding. We even try, we will try here data binding will be generated or not. So, binding, binding colon. So, here activity login binding. Yeah, now it is created here. Right. So then here binding equal to data binding util dot. So this, right. So here binding dot. Two things we have to write. So for the new user, first I write the simple one. After that, we will write next step. So that is dot set on click this one. right so here i'll write the intent where intent equal to intent so this at the rate plug into 
where we used to go main activity so that is colon colon class dot java right so that activity of intent that's it so we are moving from this page that way is clear right next year i want to write the binding dot login so for the login button we have to write the functionality so dot set on click listen right <clears throat> So till it is gone. Now here it is a common, like whatever we, because we use the almost the same keys, right? So I will uh, copy from here. So till first we'll step by step only, we will go still this interface I'll copy. After that we will back and we will modify the remaining things. So login.kt. So this is done. So here we will write that is uh, binding dot binding dot email. Next binding dot password. Done. So this is not required. Right here, this is not required. So this base URL we added here. So for even for this also the base url is common so let we will see that api in postman already we opened the postman right so in a postman we will see that api maybe keys will change right while loading this so till this is common like json object creation so this key we will check there once but still this is common. So like using this in a sample interface now. So here we used to create one more request here. So that is paste here. So this instead of create user, it is the login user. So I'm changing this is the login user. This URL we will change and remaining in same here instead of register response here we used to create what different that is a login response, right? So here login using login see this is the one it is logging into here post request so post request it is common so i'm logging into this so we got registered successfully so username and password so whatever we created here uh, it is clear username and password done so now with this name so we used to go here browser so json schema to pojo right so we have updated here done so json to json so click this so it is generated right now copy this right so with this here well, login response we created so from here we used to create one class so java class so that is the login response so login response we created here so within a this uh, here we will paste that so this is not required package name so this auto generated also we will remove so instead of this we will create as a login response that so everything is clear now. So yet yeah, this we will convert. Control A, first shift. So control shift alt K. So it is converting into the Kotlin. So done. So Kotlin has created here. So here this login response has created. Now it is clear. Back to here. Now what we have to do here, even this, whatever we are doing here, that is also common here. But with small modification, it will be clear. So till this, we copied the code. So from here, again, we convert into the same JSON object reference so that we have to convert here. So here, see. After that, so whatever the response we created here, see, wait, here, I'll go back here, right here. Uh, we created a one abc 
So if you see converted here, instead of register response, I'll change as a login response. So that uh, we won't confuse. So this login response will come here. Right interface here instead of create user. So this is the login user. So this method will change remaining here. So here also it is login response, right? So this login response will be here in multiple places. So we used to change that login response. So this is a at the rate login. So this case also same because for the both uh, the what is the method uh, what is the response it is common but normally this logic will change because the people will give different but here in case of this our case both APIs are written by me is in the same format so that's the reason it is common right so this is done now no need to give any permission on this. Right, just will uh, from here. If you want here, we can create one different page. So like that is a dashboard. So I'm creating one more new activity that is a dashboard. So now here we will create one new activity. So that is the MTV's activity here. Uh, we will give that name as the dashboard. Right, once this is created, now we will run this and we will see this out. Right. So now I'm running this, we will see. It's launching. Let's see now. See from here, new user. So it is redirecting to this space. So back here. Now we will log in here, whatever the this is xyz at gmail.com. So xyz at email dot com. So one two three four right. So I'm logging into this invalid input. Invalid input username. Maybe he's, even the keys are wrong. Okay, so we removed password 
here actually email and password we get properly here email password this is the here it should be we'll change this as email and the password so this we will change email password we'll run and we'll see now Okay, invalid input. Oh, I understood. I understood. Now, here in interface, we not modified this URL. So, this is the login instead of register here. This is the login. So, if we modify this, it will run. Maybe we cannot run because almost time has run it will close meeting if it is okay we will see otherwise we'll see next class i'm running already if we get output okay then we will run otherwise in next place